Hello and welcome to another video of this Power BI Do-It-Yourself tutorials. In the last video, we looked at the Power BI cloud service, which is PowerBI.com, and we created a first dashboard with the QA, which is the natural language processing thing uh, here, the QA. And then uh, we created an account, we saw just the basics. Now let's explore today the Power BI service, the PowerBI.com on, on, the, on the cloud. Just a quick recap on the Power BI free version, the pro version, and the premium. Uh, this is discussed in the architecture video, video number two. So right now what we have is Power BI free version, which is going to be like on the portal. There is no collaboration that means sharing of dashboards possible. And the data size of the data, the size of the data set is limited to 2 GB. Now, for Power BI Pro, which it gives me an option to upgrade it for 60 days, as sh I showed in the previous video, which I have not done that yet. This includes Power BI free features, which is here, plus the ability to share and collaborate with your colleagues in the Power BI service. And then it uses, it also includes usage metrics. It also has a limit of 2 dgb, but then it allows the data refresh. You cannot refresh the data in Power BI free version uh, directly, like you have to install a gateway. I'm gonna show you the gateway in the next video. But here, it allows you the data refresh for eight times per day. Here, you can refresh the data using personal gateway, but here you can refresh the data on a schedule. There is no scheduling possible. I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes. And then Power BI Premium features will support higher data limits, enhanced performance, a uh, lot of other things are uh, applicable. But let's focus on the free and the pro version. Now, so this is still free version, how do you know? Just go to the workspace and try creating an app workspace. You would see that, hey, this is not a pro version, but it says try pro for free, which I'm gonna do it once we walk with the properties of what's allowable, not allowable at in the free version. Now, when you go to the Power BI service, you would see on the left-hand side, the favorites. That means you can have a report or a dashboard as your favorites. The second one is the recent. That means what recent dashboards or reports you have used. Now, I can click on this star sign. Gives, it, gives you a yellow symbol. That means this is my favorite. Now, if I go back to favorites, I would see favorites. Next is recent. Again, I told you. Now, in the apps, you can share the reports as well as dashboards as from the workspace as an app. app. I'm going to talk to you about that. But if I say get apps, it will ask you that what apps my organization, that means the email ID for the corporate email ID, which I have used. If you click on this apps, that means these are the apps which are available online. You can get get this app, Azure. You can try this. This is this is pretty interesting. There are hundreds and thousands of apps on Power BI. Now, Workspace, by default, when you have a free account, you will have only My Workspace. But then when you create App Workspace, it will ask you to upgrade the account or try pro for free that means a free basic version will have only one default my workspace this can be a certification question now for the dashboards reports workbooks and data sets these are the four item which items which are available in my workspace so if I go to workspaces my workspace you would see the same four items over here now each of those items have some properties so if you click on this you see you have open share 
name rename remove and settings so if you click on remove it's going to be removed but if you click on settings then there are you go to a setting panel which is dashboard again if you click on the report section you can analyze in excel open close or whatever so reports open rename remove or analyze in excel workbooks are the excel pivot no, books worksheets which are used and then finally the data sets data set will give you an option to schedule refresh but again for pro refresh schedule is not enabled if you, if you go to schedule refresh you would see that it's not enabled obviously because you do not have a pro license now let me talk about properties the property that means settings is same for all the screen is the same you have privacy that means you can uncheck this it will not collect the data for power bi language you can set the default language or use the browser language close account if you do not want your account dashboards this is your dashboard settings that means you can allow q and a remember the q and a functionality which i showed you or you can say dialog dashboard tile flow that means it automatically aligns your current canvas to i mean you can leave it by default data sets here is the main part in order to refresh let me go back to the diagram which i showed you earlier so this was the diagram by sqldusty.com now you have the power bi desktop where you created reports and then we published it onto the power bi service on the cloud please recall that anything beyond below this white line is on prem anything above the white line is on cloud you would need a gateway which is the single installation on prem which creates a very secure tunnel between the on prem databases flat files databases or any other things onto connection to the cloud so i will show you how to install the gateway you can click on this install gateway i'm going to do that in the next video uh, schedule refresh again as i mentioned before schedule refresh is not allowed and then featured q and a question is a property wherein you can add questions which will appear as suggestions so what i mean is if you go back here in the dashboards these are the suggestions which you can change or add there so i go back in here oops i'm sorry so go back to the settings again so the settings of the data set workbooks there are no workbooks you can have alerts alerts are only available when you have uh, some real time dashboards or whatever you can have alert set and subscriptions are only for the pro version so again i am going to show you the pro version in the next video on the far right these are notifications tab uh, these are settings for the account you can see that 10 gb is allowed to be used Uh, we are going to talk about content pack later admin portal settings of the user you can download the gateway or for mobile for excel and then uh, this is your user so this is a quick walk through of the entire platform of the power bi service cloud and then let's do a quick hands on so please feel free to pause the video and make some notes and then let's get it, get ready for some hands on exercises so download the template files from the location and then create a free account using your corporate or student id on the power bi service as discussed in the previous video you can publish any of your power bi reports which you have created in the previous set of videos onto the power bi service please note that the for creating a free account the gmails the yahoo outlook um redif aol 
nothing works it has to be a corporate or a student ID and then enable the uh, explore the power bi service options and then enable the Q&A just play around with the Q&A to get you started thank you for watching